Guys, you are making the same mistake like all other Amazon sellers if you are doing the same, like calculating your Amazon profit from Amazon FBA calculator or from the payment app. Surprise, you better not. Because there are a lot more data, valuable data, that you are missing when you are using those tools to calculate your profit. And guys, you must need to consider them to make sure your Amazon profitability. And you know, making profit on Amazon right now is a nightmare. Because 50% of Amazon sellers unable to make any profit in their first year of business. God bless Amazon fee system because even after selling hundreds of thousands of dollars, you will hardly able to make a profit. But don't worry. Today in this video, I will show you how you can calculate your Amazon profit properly and also you can optimize your Amazon expense so you can increase your profit without hiring an accountant. So before you calculate your Amazon profit, you need to understand different types of income and expenses you will get from Amazon. Mostly everyone talk about only three types of fees. Referral fees, fulfillment fees, and storage fees. But there are a lot more fees that Amazon have no one will talk about. So to understand the income and fees, I have opened up a payment report or payment statement for one of my accounts so you can understand everything clearly. So here you can see there are a list of income that you will found on Amazon and there are a list of expenses you will see on Amazon. So there are some common income like this product sales, product uh, inventory credited. These types of incomes are very common on Amazon. And in expenses, the big number you will see is the like selling fees, Amazon FBA inbound and services fees, Amazon transaction fees, and the cost of advertising. So from this report, you will never understand the, it properly because uh, you can see you had like 102K sales, you have 41K as expense. And if I show you another month of report, you will see I had in February 173K in sales and 76K in expenses. But that's not all you have a lot more expense in your business that are not included here and that's why you may think oh, okay fine uh, i am getting like um, like around 40 percent of my expenses from amazon so still i have 60 percent so definitely i'm making like 10 or 20 percent profit but you are wrong because on amazon in average maximum a seller able to make is 15 to 20 percent so right now i have prepared a excel sheet here to understand all those expenses and where i can increase the like our optimization so that can help me to increase the profit so here in this sheet you can see i have noted down all those months and amazon income amazon expense everything separately so firstly I put down the FBM sales that I got from this account in January, February, FBA sales, FBA inventory that credited, shipping credits and other credits and rebates. Now that number is very, very small, but still um, I will take consider for this. And then FBA returns. You will see a big number of return for every account. And then the promotional rebates, it's like that you run coupons, those things, and other refunds and charges. These all are expense, and these are the income from your Amazon account. And finally, I will calculate the refund rate because you need to understand if the refund rate is very high, you need to like make sure why you are getting so many refunds because it will destroy your business. So definitely you need to take a consideration the refund rate here and then how much unit you able to ship from your amazon so that's one uh, number of unit that we need to consider because we will also find out the average unit price so here you can see in january 
we had a $73 average unit price but in February it's $52 like it's $20 less because we put a lots of discount here and you can see our promotional rebate cost also like almost more than double so because of these discounts we had to sell our item at lower price now if I scroll down you can see all these Amazon expenses I have noted down like ABM selling fees, APS selling fees, it's like the uh, referral fees and then the transaction fees, Amazon FBA inventory and inbound fees, uh, their service fees like the subscriptions, cost of advertising, other fees and adjustments and these are the biggest expense Amazon have and if I show you some income here you will see sometime uh, because you got some refunded and uh, but Amazon took the referral fee from you so that's why they give them back to you and there are some FBA transaction fees refund here you can see your total expense margin so on Amazon for this account I am seeing 40% of expense in compare with the total sales I got I had to spend 40% just for Amazon but that number will be higher for your account because for this account we are running the campaigns like the advertising cost is so low you can see here we got 100 cases and we only spend around like $9,000 like 9% 9 TA cost and here you can see uh, for this uh, month in February we had like 173 cases but we only spend around fifteen thousand dollars in ads so our ta cost and a cost both are very low that's why we are seeing a 40 percent of the expense but mostly you will see 50 percent of expense only for amazon and still your cost of goods sold left now we need to calculate this cost of goods sold so from this units order uh, we had a average um, like amount that we will count for uh, each item we sold so here you can see uh, we have the material cost and shipping and handling and there are some other charges that uh, you need to pay for your like labeling or other things so in together you can see here i had to spend almost 32 thousand dollars for my cost of goods sold and after those spendings you can see the gross profit and you can see i only able to make twenty eight thousand dollars after getting 100 cases and still you have some expenses that left because now you need to calculate the overhead cost because you need to pay salaries to your uh, like uh, employees also you may using some like freelancer or, or agencies like us you need to pay them so that cost also need to include here and you have like warehouse charges insurance and there are some other expenses that you may have to do so that expense if you calculate you can see after selling 100k in January we had to spend like 82k and you can see the net profit going like it's 20,000 and net margin is around 20%. This is the maximum limit you can reach. And if you calculate the second month, you can see we had 173K in sales, but our net profit was only $12,000 because we had to run a lots of promotions at lower price we have to sell the item that's why our net profit also goes down so scenarios like this you need to understand which part i am losing my money because if you are seeing okay in the expenses uh, my fb selling fee seems very high because um, your sales got double your selling fees got triple or like uh, more than double so in that case you need to take a look like why my selling fees goes up uh, from previous month to this month or uh, like cost of advertising you need to 
always optimize your campaign so that your cost of advertising always related with your sales because you here you can see we had 100k sales we spent 9000 we had 173k sales we spent 15000 because it's related with the sales but if you are getting 100k sales but you are spending 15k definitely you are, will never able to make good profit on amazon so based on these different expenses you need to find out where you need to optimize if you are seeing your material cost is very high then you may need to change your supplier or you may need to uh, consider like finding new product that you can source at lower price and also as the selling price uh, here it will uh, depend on your competition so before jump into a uh, business with your new item you need to do a proper market research and you need to break down your cost like this so you understand that if you sell at that price how much profit you will able to make so my suggestion if your cost of goods sold is more than 20 percent of your selling price then you should not consider that types of item to sell now you can see how hard it is to make profit on amazon I know you heard a lot that you can make millions on Amazon and it's true you can make millions of revenue but no one will tell you how you able to make profit on Amazon. So to help you with that I will share the link in the description so you can use this excel sheet to calculate your profit on Amazon. If you still face any issue feel free to comment us below and you can also email us at info at ecomclips.com will help you with your best to make your business profitable. You can also visit our website for more useful blogs. This is Saiful from Ecom Clips signing off today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and make profit.